Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Pocket Income video. In today's video, we are going to go over the new event. As you notice, I'm not on my main account because once you beat it, you actually can't go back and beat it. So, we had to go to a different server um, and hop right in. So the first event is Botanical Garden. The victory condition is defeat Shame. Uh, yeah, Shame is primarily for him to heal and they all heal. Uh, stealth cancels the cooldown. It's a lot. Uh, so with this event, what I did was run this team, and pretty much if you can do enough damage, Blaze can these two will stealth, and you can one shot Shaman with Teeth Horns. Oh, you don't need your own Pokemon, by the way. Turn that down a bit because that is quite loud. Uh, you're gonna have to go to the right path so you don't have stuff attack you. And then you're just gonna attack skip power with blaze again. Keep attacking. I believe at around half HP, he will uh, go into stealth. Hopefully, we'll get that to Fox soon. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to target him. Alright, now that he's in stealth, we can target the back line like Shaman. Bop. And then we use Rock Cannon with T-Tar, and... Bob. Oh, it lives. Alrighty. Probably because I misclicked the old Age of Slash, but that is completely fine. So many ults. And like that, we beat the event. All right, so now with that done, we can go on to the second one. Now, the second one was kind of RNG based. This is how I beat it. Alright, yes. So, pretty much in this event, uh, when you're frozen, you will lose. Uh, you want to use water to unfreeze. And what I did was I just attacked Articuno off the rip. And then I went for Weavile and Kragnall. This one might be a little bit more RNG based, I will say. Unfortunately, I can't skip the ults, which would suck. Don't freeze. Okay, if Sweeping's gonna get frozen. Oh, he lived. Okay. Oh, he got frozen. Unfortunate. Alright, one down. Hope I leave out now. So cool that I get this we get to see all the Pokemon we don't actually have yet. I've seen this one so many times because I like this one. I don't know if this kills. Okay, second next. So now we just bombard the Kragonal. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Hoping this doesn't freeze everybody. Alright, sick. And 
I'm a little worried, but I think this is still a go. Alright, left of Ryzen, frozen, let's go. Yeah, this fragment was so tanky. Alright, help for this kill, please. The thing with this fragment was old is that it can freeze all your Pokemon. Alright, I think that's pretty much a victory. Oh my gosh, I'm getting such bad RNG with the freezes. Alright, there we go, finally it is done. And up. Alright, now the last one is the coolest, so... Pretty much, it's a mirror image. If you attack the same enemy, they will heal. Alright. So what we want to do is you want to make Mewtwo, Ray. I brought ground on, right? And pretty much during the fight, you want to focus on the Mewtwo uh, with everybody, with ground on and rephrase it. And... Alright, so he'll do that. Uh, a psychic boxing array. Twist your Mewtwo. Gun on comes back, or a spirit array. I'd actually prefer if this ground on dies. Alright, that's fine. I was just double checking if it was a single target or not. Because you don't want an AoE, because that would suck. Alright, so now that he's dead, Rayquaza is free to attack anyone. Man, I can't wait to actually own all these characters. <laughs> Alright, so now it's just ground on. Please kill. Unfortunate. So what's gonna happen is when my ground on attacks this ground on, it's gonna heal. But I think we can get the kill right here. Such a cool ult. Yeah, definitely killed. Alright, and that is how you beat all of the events so far. There's only three of them. There will be more in the next couple days. The next three unlock tomorrow, and then the last four in two days. I'll have a guide on the next uh, three uh, tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.